Hello. Good to see you. Alrighty there, Revenants. Welcome back to Code Vein and the Road to 100, where today uh, is the video I think everybody's been waiting for the most um, here in uh, the Road to 100 Halberd run. And uh, for this set, we're going to be running the Sunset Halberd. Uh, we're going to be running the Intensified. Uh, the Gifted is a very, very close second to what we're running, but the uh, Intensified uh, takes the cake here, especially for um, the weight class, because the Fortified uh, just is too heavy for what we're running, and so we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be running just the Intensified. Uh, sorry about the the ding there. Let me uh, take care of that real quick. Okay, and uh, so what we're gonna run here is we're gonna run a setup that actually gets the Sunset Halberd to uh, basically double this number here. So we get to 3044 when we are fully buffed and ready to go. Uh, so we should be able to destroy anyone and anything in our path uh, that we hit. Now we do have a problem here of Louis uh, coming along with us, so that will be for whatever it is. Um, but uh, think about this, we have uh, 3044 as our um, damage value, and just as a raw number off of Chariot Rush, uh, the, the full multiplier on Chariot Rush is 4.8. So uh, if you multiply the uh, 3,044 times 4.8, you get 14,611 damage from one uh, gift, and that only costs four I-Core. So for something like Heimdall, you need uh, high power, low costing I-Core uh, gifts, and so this is exactly uh, what we can run here to make sure that... Uh, uh, it will take us a little bit here, but we will actually get up to really, really high damage overall. And uh, our charge attack is one of those attacks that uh, is very, very strong. It has a 235% multiplier on the uh, on the uh, charge attack, so uh, you definitely want to make use of that. So now we're up to 2244, so another 800 to go from uh, uh, Sacrificial Edge. And uh, if we can get 10 i -Core um, in between here, we will be able to get Sacrificial Edge going. Now that is the uh, problem here with this uh, set, oh, is that we have um, is that we have the uh, problem area there of uh, getting hit, uh, and if we ever get hit, we're uh, in real, real, real trouble. So that is really, really bad. Okay, and uh, the, and uh, we definitely want to get backstabs to avoid that double slash there okay that's good and let's go for a charge attack okay it was almost 8,000 on a charge attack there so that's really good but uh, it's just not enough to take this lady down uh, faster so we'll go for a couple of items here to get us uh, charged up and ready for this uh, encounter up here okay and uh, we need to put this lady down very fast okay while at the same time avoiding all the uh, gunners and such. Okay. Okay, good. Ouch. And see, oh, as you see there, we get hit a little bit and we're and we're toast. Okay, but uh, our our weapon damage is really good overall, and we're able to uh, really put out a whole lot of damage uh, whenever we need to. Okay. Oops. But again, if we get hit, I'm stuck on the thing here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. And we'll uh, we'll go ahead and kill this guy quickly here, hopefully. But, uh, if we if we get a chance to be um, one on one with an enemy here, uh, we are more than capable of uh, putting out the damage. But uh, as as you see, we basically have minus damage all the time. Uh, is this gunner? Coming over here, I don't think so. So we'll uh, we'll call this good here, okay? And uh, for this lady, we'll we'll go ahead and get a launch on her. I think she hit me somehow, but it didn't register because I was focused or something. Okay. And if you see here, we're at 2348. That's pretty good uh, damage overall. And uh, the problem comes from the fact that. Uh, um, Oh, uh, a defensive order here whoops uh, puts us into almost negative um, defenses here so that's really really bad okay you can see there that uh, we have uh, pretty good damage on the dogs even okay and we'll go for a charge attack here just to make sure that we put this thing down so 68 70 in one attack is very good 
um, and that is uh, a really, really, whoops, a really, really worthy um, amount of damage. Oh, and uh, all these guys are coming after us. That's really bad. Uh, who's... Okay. Okay. Definitely want to uh, ignore her for a second. That should uh, kill that guy. Okay, good job. Okay, and we'll go for a charge attack here. Okay, perfect. Uh, well, not not exactly perfect, but uh, <laughs> it, it worked out. Um, but you see that uh, Sacrificial Edge is not... Uh, whoops. Is not a scary um, item by any means, but at the same time, we're able to uh, we're able to do pretty well um, here with the Sunset Halberd and running Sacrificial Edge at the same time to make sure that we make up for the uh, double slash uh, swing of the basic attack on this weapon. So uh, when you run the Sunset Halberd, you definitely do not want to be running the uh, basic uh, double swing um, because it locks you into such a hard animation. Um, it's it's not good at all when you uh, when you run the uh, double swing animation. So you really really uh, want to watch out for that. You want to run the overhead attack or the uh, or the charge attack, either one. Oops, and uh, you can see why because uh, it does not do very good damage because it does a 45% and then a 55% like uh, the other halberds uh, we've been investigating that have the double slash swing. And uh, this is no exception here, but uh, the charge attack is extremely powerful, and it's uh, it's really really good to go for uh, if you have the opportunity to to go for uh, you know hitting the enemy and uh, so on and so forth. And the uh, the running attack and the overhead are really really good attacks um, for the amount of damage they do, while at the same time having pretty good crowd control overall. Uh, I think. Uh, Louie got, uh, got that lady attracted uh, to us here. Yep. So we are going to uh, run over here where the gunner cannot get to us. And she, Louis, Louis's probably going to die, but we'll, uh, we'll leave him to it. Louie, just come over here, man. There we go. Okay, we got her aggroed, so that's good. Okay. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> okay, and let's see if we can get a knockdown here. Good. And we'll go for a chariot rush. Okay. Perfect. Now, again, uh, you can see that uh, Chariot Rush does very, very, very good damage, even when uh, you are not uh, fully buffed up for the full 3,044 damage uh, that you have available to you, but you can still do some, some pretty decent damage overall. So here, let's, uh, let's go ahead and use at least one of these, um, so that way we get a free um, regen here. I'll have to take good care of that. Okay. And then uh, we can uh, we can just keep it keep it as it is there. Okay. And uh, here we always uh, ignore all these folks and go straight for the ladder because um, this is a real problem area and how they uh, gang up on you and everything. And we're just going to go and rest at the missile because uh, we need to rest anyways and get our icor and such back. And we'll reset the area. So not a problem there. Good. And uh, running the Sunset Halberd definitely uh, makes you think about, uh, and for some reason we get that 140 haze every time you pick up these chemical lights, um, but running the Sunset Halberd makes you think twice about how you play and uh, what you're going for. Here's where you find the Ivory Grace, and so it kind of is fitting that we're using the Ivory Grace to show it with the uh, Sunset Halberd here to kind of illustrate maybe a, a little bit of uh, something here that maybe you guys didn't uh, particularly think about. Okay, good. Good. Get rid of monkey as fast as possible. That is always um, the uh, the best thing you can do. Okay. Good. And now we are ready for this lady here. Oh, maybe not. Oh, ouch, I'm dead. Louis, my man. There we go. Okay. Oops. Okay. I thought that uh, was gonna knock her down, but uh, apparently, uh, it, apparently it was not enough to knock her down. So uh, I needed to hit her with something else. So um, that is kind of uh, it is kind of unfortunate there. Um, but the uh, sunset halberd, you pick this thing up all over the place. There are many, many, many of them that you come across in the game, and uh, you can 
make use of them pretty much anytime, anywhere. Uh, but uh, but that double slash on the first um, strike pattern of the weapon actually in inhibits the usefulness of this weapon uh, considerably, just because of the fact that uh, you know you you're locked into that animation and there's no way around it and there's no way uh, to to get out of it. There's no way to cancel it or anything. So it's it's pretty bad uh, in that regard. Ouch. And as you see here, we have literally no defenses. And let's go for a charge attack into a uh, chariot rush. And that works out very nicely as compared to last time, even though we got smashed in the face. Now, since we have lifesteal, it helps us a little tiny bit because we have 5% uh, health back from every enemy we attack. And because we have uh, the ability to knock monkeys down really easily with this weapon, we're going to take the bottom route this time. And uh, hopefully we don't uh, get our our uh, faces destroyed here. Okay. Oh, and uh, like just like that. Okay. Okay. And uh, that is a nice thing about having life steal is that if you kill an enemy and die, you are able to um, you're able to uh, come back to life because of the fact that uh, um, the life uh, regenerated uh, gave you that life back and it can bring you back from um actually uh dying so it's kind of nice and as you see we're we're loading up on health here from the monkeys and so we'll go over this side uh to make sure that we uh, get rid of these monkeys quickly okay okay good oh no uh monkey but you can see there that uh, we're we're able to um do some Pretty decent damage. Oh, oh boy, we're probably gonna die here. I can't see. Okay. Okay. Never mind. I guess we're fine. Very good. Okay. Um, and then we have more monkeys here. Oh, I forgot about these monkeys. Oh, come on. I hate monkeys. <laughs> uh, there's so many of them. And uh, since we have basically zero defense. Um, we're, we're able to, uh, uh, get taken down pretty simply, pretty easily. And there's no real alternative to this because the blood veil is so light at 13.2 pounds. And so that is the only veil that we can use that actually, um, follows our weight class to be able to wield this thing and still have quick mobility. So it, it is what it is, but, uh, you know, it, it works out, uh, fairly decently. Okay. Okay, and uh, now we've got uh, this lady up here, so uh, hopefully we don't uh, get smacked in the face. Maybe we can get a parry, maybe not. She's going to do that, so we can go for a backstab first. And that'll set us up nicely for a uh, charge attack here. Good. Okay, ouch. <laughs> okay, uh, that definitely was uh, very, very bad for us. Um, so we'll go ahead and get uh, a couple of things going here to make sure that we have uh, some good i uh, gifts on us before we get into the monkeys down below. And uh, for for here, we want to equip the knives or the daggers for the uh, Blood Knight at the end of the hallway here. Okay, get rid of one monkey. Get two monkeys. And, uh, oh, good job, Louie. Okay. And we'll get rid of this monkey. And get rid of this monkey. Good. And get rid of... Oop, get rid of this... Oh, okay. And get rid of this monkey. And there should be another one. Yeah, there we go. Oh, of course. Get out of here. Okay. Oh, Louie got that kill, so not a problem there. Okay, and then for this lady, if you stand here on this side, she will kill herself every time. There she goes. So that's a very nice, easy kill there. Um, okay, and uh, then we'll switch back to make sure that we have um, enough enough setup here for the, uh, what's his called, uh, the Argent Wolf Boy around the corner. Okay, and as the monkeys drop down, we'll go for a charge booster here to make sure that we... Um, 
kill them. Whoops, there's one of them. Okay, and two. Very good. Okay, so we got another uh, about 304, uh, 310 uh, HP there. And uh, that is really, really what we're uh, looking for here, is to make sure that we uh, have the ability to uh, put some AoE out on the enemy here, while at the same time having good damage uh, to make sure that we... Um, you know, don't uh, don't die immediately every time we get into a scrape here with uh, some of these enemies. So let's, uh, okay, good. And we'll go ahead and kill this fella almost. That's good. Looks like Louie is uh, taking care of this guy, maybe. Nope. Okay. Okay, and we'll go for a launch. Oh, I guess we just uh, killed him outright. Now this is nice that we're focused because there's this... Uh, Blood Knight here that we can maybe get a uh, launch attack on. Okay. Oh, and uh, we traded blows there, so uh, not a problem, I guess. But uh, hopefully this... Uh, nope. I was going to say hopefully that goes for a knockdown, but nope. Okay. And we'll pick up the Pure Blood uh, in here for sure to make sure that we uh, don't miss out on this wonderful item. Okay, and... Then going for uh, the lady up here, we'll just go for our basic uh, damage setups here. Okay, and uh, if she goes for an attack, maybe we can get a parry, just like that. And that will set us up very nicely for a charge attack here. Okay, okay. I can't tell where uh, she is or what's going on, so very good there. Um, definitely uh, definitely uh, kind of scary along the edge there. Um, Quite a bit but uh whew, we made it to the missile and uh, that works out we still have 10 heals and we have a couple of items here and stuff uh, so not too bad um but uh we'll we'll definitely have to load up here whoops on icor on this fella before we get into the fight with the queen's knight reborn because i'm sure it's going to be a uh a cluster with him uh, because he's going to absolutely annihilate us so hopefully, hopefully we do okay here. Now, uh, since we're right. going to be going for this fella right anyways, we'll just might as well get a 20% increase to our weapon damage. And we'll go for um, Blood Sacrifice to make sure we are up at peak capacity here. Okay. And we'll go ahead and heal up along the way here uh, to make sure that we're uh, all the way full on all the goodness uh, that we could be going for. And uh, we're ready to go. Okay, here we go. And where's Chariot Rush? Good. Okay, and we'll go for all these things here to make sure that we have really uh, good charge uh, damage on him as well. And uh, as soon as Offensive Order comes off, we'll go for Ice. Okay, perfect. All right, let's go. Okay. Okay. Not bad there. Okay. Let's go for another charge. Okay. Oh, we're dead. And it doesn't matter if we die because we're going to die uh, in one hit anyways. It doesn't matter what attack he does on us. Uh, we will die. We will die immediately uh, simply because of the fact that uh, that we have basically no resistance of, of any kind. And he does slash damage. And we have 25 slash. So, I mean, we might as well here go for Louie. Uh, where's Louie? There we go. We might as well just do something like this to make sure that we have uh, max possible kind of damage that we can even go for because of the fact that, you know, we're, we're not going to have any ability to do anything um, versus that guy uh, unless we <laughs> unless we uh, go for uh, all out damage and try and avoid everything. Um, because, I, I, like I said, we get hit once and, and it's all over. Uh, there's really no coming back from anything at this point. So uh, you might as well go... Uh, you might as well go all out in order to uh, make it work. So we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to try that. So here we go. Okay. Good. Okay, and then uh, again we have to be at max health because there's no way that uh, we're gonna be able to do anything otherwise. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. Okay, and then this is Chariot Rush, and this is Charge Accelerator. 
and uh, Chariot Rush is only four I cores, so we're able to uh, utilize it still, uh, regardless of what's happening. That's very nice. All right, and let's go pick up our haze. Good, we hit him. Yep, we're dead. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Oh, Louis dead. Okay, so you can see how uh, how a fight this is gonna be. Okay. Great. Okay. I'll go for charge booster there, charge accelerator. Oh boy, we're dead. Oh my goodness, I'm not dead. What? Okay. Okay, nice. Okay, now we're dead. Yep. <laughs> uh, every time he goes into that double slash uh, spin attack, um, you have to get the framing uh, data just perfect or go for um, a parry. Uh, but uh, as, uh, as uh, that is uh, way outside of my realm of skill, um, I'm not able to actually pull that off. But uh, Louis is pretty worthless here as a partner because he dies in basically one hit, um, just like me. So, and that is because of Reckless Abandon. And so the two of us are extremely weak. And so we really don't have um, really any legs to stand on here that uh, we have to speak about. And so it's really, really, really up to our uh, wits about us to make sure that we, um, you know, take every advantage to put out damage while at the same time um, not uh, pulling our punches anywhere and we actually go for max damage anytime we possibly can. Let's go ahead and heal and we'll go for this and we'll go for one more and we'll go for sacrificial edge. Good. And then chariot rush. There we go. And the reason I go for chariot rush is because it has a really really good uh, stagger potential on that last strike uh, particularly. So uh, we go for that to make sure that we uh, can put out some good damage overall. Good. So 9,300, about 10,000 is uh, really good damage. Where is he? Okay. Oh, we're both dead in one hit. <laughs> uh, of course. So that's kind of the problem that we have here, is that if we go for the regular attack while we're standing there, uh, we're basically going to die um, overall anyways. So there's really no, um, there's really no option there for us at all to even attempt the uh, initial attack on on this uh, weapon. So we'll have to uh, just deal with it as as it is right now. Now again, uh, the the basic attack is is a hundred percent multiplier, but it's split between two attacks, so it's it's very very bad uh, in that regard. But uh, the charge attack and the uh, heavy attack are pretty good, and the uh, and the alternate light attack. The overhead is uh, is a very good attack as well. So if you're looking for, you know, why you would use this weapon, well, it's not a uh, why you would use this weapon. It's a when would you use this weapon kind of a kind of a topic for for the sunset halberd here, and uh, that's really uh, the way and when you would use it is uh, go for those charge attacks and go for the overheads uh, when possible. Okay. All right. Let's pick up our haze here. And what's he going to do? One. Good. Oh, Louis. And you can see there that uh, Louis and I are both uh, not uh, good at uh, holding on here. Okay. He's going to do that so we can get a couple of charge attacks here. Okay. We'll go for a charge booster. Okay. And when he comes out, we'll go for a... Uh, this. Yeah, we pulled him out of the air. That was cool. Okay, nice and a chariot rush. There we go. Okay, so that was a uh, that was a perfect run there because we didn't get hit, um, and that was very nice. And that's how it should go. Um, and uh, we did get lucky to pull him out of the air there with uh, the last hit on chariot rush. Uh, but uh, that's the whole point of that last hit is that uh, you do stagger and you can interrupt 
uh, all of his moves uh, with with any kind of stagger that puts him into light stagger and if you put him into hard stagger like we did at the end where he went down and actually knelt down that's that's his hard stagger uh, you can end the fight very quickly um, as you see there but again it's a very high risk high reward type of a setup because you um, basically can't take a hit ever so yeah it's a do it perfectly or not at all so anyways hopefully you all enjoyed the sunset halberd and uh, how this thing actually operates and uh, you know since we didn't get hit we did have that 3044 uh, value on our uh, on our revenant so that was very nice um, let's see here if we can actually get that number to show so you guys can see um, see how that how that operates uh, for us here so let's head back to our Cerberus trooper and see if we can get Louis to give us his overdrive okay good okay and now we did have much higher than 3044 because we had um uh reckless abandon active and so that was very nice as well uh so let's see here if we can get uh louis active uh and see exactly what our hell or what our um what our damage potential was here and if louis not going to activate overdrive then uh that's unfortunate for us here oh there we go uh 3702 so uh, that that's pretty good, pretty good damage, and then that is times uh, 4.8, right? Because of uh, chariot rush. Uh, so let's see here, 4.8 times 3702, 3702. So 17,770 uh, damage is what this thing is uh, potentially capable of of uh, putting out here on. Uh, on the Cerberus Trooper. Now it won't put out exactly that amount because he's a little bit strong to slash, but uh, you can see there, uh, okay, 24,000, and uh, we killed him in one hit. So uh, it's it's really good damage overall, um, and uh, you can really really put the enemy down uh, quickly with this thing. But uh, you know it is the Sunset Halberd, and it uh, you know doesn't get a whole lot of playtime as i'm sure you all can imagine so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed that i hope you enjoyed the uh, uh the the setup here and the show of how to uh, kind of run this thing and heimdall sure makes great use of this thing overall because of uh sacrificial edge and uh all the buffs that we got going here oh yeah and i forgot uh the 20 percent from swift destruction um so it, it would be this times 1.2 yeah so uh, we're right in that neighborhood of where we should be for damage. Um, and then the damage is calculated on every strike. So I'm just giving you the, the lower bound, um, and that guy was giving you the upper bound. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, and we'll see you tomorrow. And, and uh, we'll f hopefully finish out uh, the uh, Halberd run over the weekend here. So we'll see you all then.